Hello, you're welcome to the newspaper review here on TAF TV. My name is Ayo Okeme and I'm your co-host for today. Like you know, here in our newspaper review, we give Nigerians the opportunity to air out their views in regards to the headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper headlines. Now, before we hit to the streets of Portacourt, like we always do every day, let's get to the... All right, now, before we hit to the streets of Portacourt, let's get to hear what the headline has for us today. Now, today being 28th day in the month of May 2024, we are considering the Vanguard newspaper. Now, first on the Vanguard, we are saying, Okwama displaced residents. Finally reports to IDP camp. Details of that is found on page 10. Edo Guba, more trouble for LP, as two escorts emerge. Details of that is found on page 7. And still on the Vanguard newspaper, we are seeing AGF, advocate scraping of state electoral bodies. Details of that is found on page 9. And on the headline on the Vanguard newspaper, we are seeing labor, private sector, operators, bicker over minimum wage. Details of that is found on page 5. And lastly, on the Vanguard newspaper, we are seeing on page 11, it says, gunmen kill three in a Boeing community. You can read that up on page 11 on the Vanguard newspaper. All right, now moving on, we are considering this day. Now on the this day newspaper, the headline here we are seeing, Obasanjo, Tinibu's administration yet to find right way to handle economy. Details of that is found on page 5. Tinibu, today is my day to boost. The deal is done. The dream is, the dream is reliable. Details of that is found on page 5. And this is in regards to the Calabar, Coast, Calabar Lagos Coastal Highways. You can read that up on this day on page 5. All right, now on the Punch newspaper, we're seeing on the headline here it says Tinibu government awards six trillion naira contracts for road and others. Details of that is found on page two. Zenith Bank GMD bows out Friday, wins best CEO. Wow, that's a great one coming from the Zenith Bank. You can read that up on page 22 on the Punch newspaper. Emirates Tuzzles caught orders by Euros eviction. Kanu says, dispose Emir, a threat. You can read that up on the Punch newspaper on page 2. Dangote Refinery eyes 5,000 burial production. Production capacity, July. Details of that is found on page 19. And still on the Punch newspaper, we're seeing on page 4, it says, Kidnap Akwaibo Monesh, freed after 5 million ransom payment. Details of that is found on page 4. Four soldiers, nine others arrested in armed robbery in River State. Wow, that's a quick one. Details of that is found on page four and page five of the Punch newspaper. Now, moving on, we're seeing Bayelsa Po, Silva, rejects tribunal evict, plans appeal. Details of that is found on page 11. And still on the Punch newspaper on page 20, we're seeing power. 12 billion power, 12 billion naira spent annually on airport. Federal government considers solar. Lastly, on the Punch newspaper, this is in regards to the Children's Day that was celebrated yesterday. And it says, Children's Day, President, Government promises better future. That's a great one for our Nigerian children. Details of that, you can read that up on page 18. All right, now, this is all we're having in regards to the headlines on our newspaper. Now, let's hit to the street of Portacourt and get the views of Nigeria in regards to these headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper. Do well to stay tuned. Right, good morning, sir. Good morning. Right. You're, you're welcome. Now, I would like your thoughts on this day's newspaper that says, Tinibu, today is my day to boost. The deal is done. The dream is re it, it, it has come to reality. Now, do you think um, this uh, Calabar Coastal Highway, the, the, the commissioning is today. Do, do you think this, this has been a major achievement to this administration? No, not actually a major achievement to his administration, but this particular one is one of its achievements. If it to work, it's a welcome development. Yes, yes. In the space of, um, should I say, uh, one year now in office, our president called out on the ministers to, to give out their scorecards. Do, do, do you think there has been an effect to, to what these ministers have done to the people for the space of one year? 
No, 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 no. There's nothing to write home about in terms of this uh, ministerial area. I don't think there's anything to write home about. Uh, at this point, do you think that uh, uh, there, there, there are things that this present government needs to change that the other government did not change? Yes, yes. They are supposed to see it ahead before even coming to power, not even thinking of changing it. They are supposed to come out with their own plan, you know, what to benefit the people, what will make the people to be happy ahead of them, not them coming to think about it. They are supposed to think it before even coming to power. Yeah, yeah. So that, uh, that's a great one. Now, for, just like I keep asking every patriotic Nigeria, do you think uh, there is hope for Nigeria in this administration? Uh, yes, there is hope. If, yes, there is hope because um, not every aspect, every sector is bad, and I believe with time, there is, as the changes come, you keep changing people. There, there is some that they will change that will make things change in the system. So there is hope, no doubt about it. Thank you very much. Man. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, this is where we come to the end of our newspaper review here on TAF TV. Like you know, we hit to the street of Patakot and we have given Nigerians the opportunity to air out their views in regards to the headlines that are making rounds on our newspaper. You, know, you, you also can be part of this show. Do well to slide to our comment sessions and drop your comments in regards to the news that are making rounds on our newspaper. My name is Ayo Okeme and this has been the newspaper review here on TAF TV.